Okay, cool. So, um, just, I'm going to put a thing on the overlay, but just so everyone knows, this is pre-recorded. It is, if everything goes according to plan, it is Sunday and it is Super Bowl Sunday. So some of us are doing football type things, uh, but we wanted to go ahead and still give you some sweet, sweet Bells content with our little side quest with uh, Miss Cordial and Zashri. So that is what we are Oh, doing. hello from the past. Yes. To the yes. future. Hello, now. future. Hello. <laughs> Hello, future. <laughs> future. Ooh. Yeah, so don't use your channel points because we won't respond to them. They will be wasted. Yes. Don't and they won't come back. Um, however, I am actually, because there's no channel points, I'm going to give each of you an advantage for the game to use. Yay! Rosanna is not here to give everyone a drink. Rosanna somebody would, would have definitely, <laughs> definitely would have <laughs> probably either butters or uh, Gronk. Actually, no, a lot of people give advantage, and we love them very much. And Pete always Accurate. gives me advantage, which I really appreciate. Thanks, Pete. Um, <laughs> I appreciate that less. It's because he likes me. <laughs> if you have an NPC who is helping us or not, yeah, it's true. Fair. All right, so, uh, quick recap, uh, this past Sunday, the Bells arrived back in uh, deep water via teleportation circle. Um, they got to the tavern where they reintroduced themselves to Holic, who is the adorable little gnomish bartender. And um, at that point, Cherry and Zashri split off from the group to go and talk to a member of the guild that Sherry is familiar with up in these parts. And Zashri followed her because that's what Zashri does. And Because uh, after last time with the sneaking out, Zashri's not going to let that go down again. Um, oh man, I didn't tell you guys. So on Sunday, they were making a joke about how they're going to make an 8-bit Zashri and say it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> <laughs> yes perfect perfect not just not just the sword or the axe or any of that the no, whole zashri the whole zashri the whole, the whole true the whole thing so wings and all keep an eye out <laughs> that might be merch who knows um, <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous to uh all right so <clears throat> you guys have arrived at the lady of the lake at which point, um, Cherry, you do notice up here that uh, Gail is sitting there, who is the gentleman that you had spoken with the last time you were up here, who had essentially told you that there wasn't really a lot of work uh, if you wanted it. And he... It is looks... there a new map? Because I'm only seeing the, the tavern. No, we're, we're still at the... We are yeah, at the tavern. You guys are at the tavern. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you should see... Yeah, sorry, sorry, this, sorry. this was the original guy, like, back during the one okay. shot that we first played. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay. So long ago. Sorry. Continue. Um, mm -hmm. So this was the... Oh! Hey, Zashri! Zashri! I think the guy that we were talking to before. Yeah. He was yeah. the one that we... He, yeah, yeah. You're right. He would, so he would probably know about the, the like, school and stuff. Yeah, we should talk yeah, to him. Let's, let's, yeah, let's yeah, go, yeah, let's go. So I'm going to sit down with my playing card deck. Okay. And be like, hey, friend, it's been a long time. Oh, um, hello. And he kind of motions to his friend that he's sitting with. She's like, and the guy very sort of politely, like, bows his head and walks out. Have you, oh, uh, you've come? Well, it was nice to meet you too, I guess. <laughs> He's a man of few words. It's okay. Have you, uh... Or no words. Have you come to play a couple of hands? Uh, speak. And I'm going to pull out the Queen of Hearts. And I'm going to say, you, you didn't happen to 
uh, have a friend contact you, did you? Um, I probably wouldn't be the person that would be the contact for that particular place, but I could take you to her if you would like. Be lovely. Of course. And you remember Zashri, right? He kind of looks at you and gives you like an up and down, like, <clears throat> I do. Because <laughs> I think remember, that means he likes you. Yeah, last time you were like <laughs> hovering in the background when, when she was talking to this guy, just like menacingly. Big <laughs> yeah. So he's like, uh, she's doing the same thing right now, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so he gives you just like a. Well, um, she's welcome to come as well. She nods silently. Excellent. All right, then. And he just kind of motions for you guys to follow. <clears throat> Are you going to follow him out? And we're just gonna like wave at our friends on the way out. Just one of those, like, we'll be right back. Like, <laughs> so they did not see you. Leave, Don't do anything we wouldn't do. Uh, because none of them have high enough passive perception to have noticed that you guys actually walked out and nobody was like paying attention. <laughs> So that's so problem. sad. That's yeah. valid. It was really. Did they just spend funny. the whole time wondering where the hell we went then? No, so. So, uh, to be fair, they did know that you guys were going to leave. I, like, made that clear. They weren't too freaked out or anything, but none of them were like, so, do we see them leaving? It's like, no, you didn't ask. Nobody asked. <laughs> They're gone. <laughs> it was fine. It was great. I In chaperone Zashri, and Zashri's going to chaperone me, yeah. and everybody's mm -hmm. got a chaperone. It's fine. Yeah. I'm sure that they right. figured that... But who's then... chaperoning Maggie? <laughs> Sombra, probably. Um, probably. All right. So as you guys walk through the town, uh, I am going to go ahead and have you both roll perception for me, please. Something happened with D&D &D Beyond today, so we'll see if I can roll there. If not, I can try to dig up some dice amongst the wreckage that is my house. <laughs> <laughs> Did it work? Ooh, it worked. Oh, that's bad. That's a six. Super good. <laughs> that's a six. Uh, Jenna, what'd you get? 17. Okay. So, Zasha, you're really focused on making sure that, like, nobody is following you and, like, keeping her safe. <laughs> um, Fair. Cordial, as you are walking through, you're just kind of, like, taking in the sights, looking around. Um, you do sort of notice that, like, you, as you're moving away from where you, uh, from where you're going... You can tell that there was definitely some kind of fire in the opposite direction from where uh, from where you're headed, which, you know, is sort of to be expected. You know, you knew that there was some kind of fire that the university was destroyed. Um, and you also notice. Oh, is the sky all like orange? No, it's. it's that happens when it gets super smoky. Yeah. So it has been long enough that it looks like. The, the environment is is pretty much back to normal, but you can definitely tell that there's still some wreckage that has not been cleaned up. That it's, even though it's been about a month, month and a half since this has happened, it looks like the city still hasn't really recovered. Uh, you do also notice where the last time you were here, you know, the merchants basically run this place. And so most people around here are dressed very brightly in very like bold colors. And you're noticing that there are several people dressed in black, which is unusual. Like, you hadn't really seen that before the last time you were here. Right? 
So after about walking for about a mile, uh, you guys arrive at what looks like a fairly nondescript one-story house. Uh, uh, sorry, Gail goes up, knocks on the door, and after a second, just sort of opens it. I'm going to change this. Also, uh, Cordial totally knows this, but Jenna continuously forgets. Is this what suit is this? Suit, suit is the card word. Uh, so right. this is the suit of, suit of yeah. Earth, which is spades. But, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So as you guys enter, it looks like a pretty normal sort of nondescript house. But it's very warm and homey. There's like a fireplace going. There's a couple people sitting in chairs, drinking beer. And you see sitting at the table, there's an older half orcish woman who looks to be sort of like scribbling some stuff in some books. And every so often she looks up and takes a sip of her beer and sits back down. And as you guys walk in, she turns around, sees Gail, sort of nods and then sees the two of you. It's like, <clears throat> can I help you? And I'm gonna come over and be like, yes, hi, I don't think we've ever met. Uh, my name is Cherry Cordial, and I'm just going to, like, pull the, so you see the tattoo, and be like, I am your neighbor from the South, um, and I was, well, <laughs> sorry, uh, this is my friend Zashri, and what's your name? Oh, my name is Gina. What can I do for you? I had some questions, if you have a moment. Um, I know something happened at the academy. We were here probably like six weeks ago, um, and then we went back home down south, and then in the meantime, I heard that that had happened, and I had left um, one of our family friends, left some, uh, like, what is the word that I'm looking for? Like heirloom. a family heirloom. Heirloom. Thank heirloom. you. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, a tomato. A tomato. A, a family um, tomato. <laughs> had left a family heirloom there for them. I, I think they must have been like restoring it or something at the at the academy. But um I tried to find out what happened to it when I found out that, you know, there was a fire or something. And we really just could not get any information down south. So I just kind of wanted to check in and honestly see what happened. And I mean, if there was if there was anything that we could do, really. Zashri's standing behind her looking all threatening. Like, we'd really appreciate your help. <laughs> she gives you Yeah, Cherry definitely walked in and made herself all the way at home. Yeah. <laughs> Threat level zero. <laughs> And Zashi's like, uh, yep, this this is on brand. <laughs> and uh, she's going to kind of, so she looks from you, Cordial, up to Zashri and kind of back to you and goes, well, uh, before we get started, can I uh, offer you something to drink, perhaps? That sounds lovely. We did just have a pretty long journey, technically speaking. Ale for me. All right. Uh. Gail, if you would be so kind. All right, then. Well, uh, and he kind of scurries off to, like, through a door in what looks like to a, just, like, another room in the house. Eh. Um, did she... Their tattoos are on their wrists. Can I see yeah, so hers? She Do I know? Yeah, she would have flashed that at you when you had, uh... So she kind of, like, what, has her... Um, what, like, uh, level... She's the Is she? Oh, okay. That will not change how I respond to anything, but, you know, it's <laughs> no. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> uh, well, it's not like I was going to be rude if she were lower level, so. Yeah. Um, 
But no, you can, I mean, you can surmise that probably Melania, when she was uh, communicating up here, this is probably who she was talking to. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so when I sit down, I'll just mention, like, I, I asked Melania to to check up, and she said that there wasn't really a whole lot to of information to go on. Uh, so you're, uh, you're one of uh, Melania's girls then, eh? Oh, she and I, you know, we actually knew each other quite well from being so far apart. No way. Yeah. So are you guys, like, long-distance besties? Are you pen pals? Oh, no, I, uh, I don't know that I'd go that far, but we did grow up together. It's been quite some time since I've seen her, though. Uh, but she's a, well... She's a good lady. Take care of us. Well, that's good to hear. Now, uh, what is it that you want to be known about? The university, you say? Yeah. Like I said, we had left the family heirloom at the university. And that, and that was right before all this happened. So I'm sure that there are other much more important things going on with the... Oh gosh, I don't even know what it was. Was it an explosion? Was it a fire? All right. Any information would be appreciated. She is going to... Okay. Well, you see, <laughs> if you know Melania, you probably can uh, be trustworthy then i suppose i suppose i could tell you what happened here and uh wouldn't have to worry about it getting around as it were we we definitely know how to play the game don't we zashri mm-hmm yep <laughs> mm-hmm well uh, <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep. like, I sure do agree with whatever you said. Yeah, Zashri knows how to play games for sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, about a month ago, just as you said, there was uh, this massive uh, fire at the university. And those that were there so large horned creatures fly in on giant animals and apparently lit the place up like a f bonfire and it burned for quite a while and uh, one of the professors there they said that these things emitted this horrible screech that just stopped everyone in their tracks and it felt like hours passed although they don't know how long it actually was. And by the time, excuse me, <clears throat> by the time they came to, these creatures had managed to burn the place to the ground and comb through it. And apparently they took quite a bit of a bounty from the place, if you believe them. These things. Um, are any other details about what they looked like? Are we talking about the ones with the horns or the creatures they were riding? Well, the creatures they were riding were large wings. I never even put myself on this map. How rude of me. <laughs> uh, I promise I'm sitting. <laughs> Well, the, the creatures they were riding were almost, the professor described them as huge vultures, but they weren't, you know? I mean, I've never heard of no vulture screaming so loud that it paralyzed anybody. Either. Um, Vanessa, from the research that we did on 
Well, actually, now we've done two separate researches. We originally did research on undead things for the necklace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we did research on demon stuff. Mm -hmm. Is any of this ringing any bells from from our library field trips? Um, Roll a history check for me. Follow-up question. Horned beings that look like... Cordial? Oh. <laughs> or horned beings that look like something else entirely. Uh, my history is negative. That's, that's a five with five. my uh, negative <laughs> modifier. Uh, yeah, I don't, more- I'd offer to help, but Zashi isn't much further ahead of that. Well, I have on my person, I think the only book that I yeah I have a book about the undead on me but I don't have um I think we had to leave the Mm -hmm. books about demons in the library so I don't have yeah okay so Zashri's gonna ask him if it's go ahead and answer uh no so yeah you don't you don't know what she's talking about (laughs) uh so do you know if the horned creatures looked like my friend here she gestures to cordial or like something else entirely well, Am I covered in beet juice right now? Yes, I actually have a token for you covered in beet juice. I don't know if you saw it. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> yes, I forgot about token. that completely. Yep, we have one. We have a one for you and one for Miko. You have beet juice tokens. Beet juice, beet juice, beet juice. Wait, that's not the same thing. <laughs> no, no, it's be. not. I love that. Though. Okay, it's hilarious. So I'm just. Red like a regular tiefling <laughs> at the moment, um, but I guess that's cool. If Melania was like, if a pink tiefling shows up, just murder her, and then I'm not a pink tiefling, so like it's fine. Yeah, it's totally fine. They don't know. Uh, no, the uh, it, it uh, from what the professor said, they didn't look like your friend here, but they were these large, spiny bone things with horns protruding from the front. That doesn't sound good. Optimal, at best. Yes. Well, it is all a bit scary, you know. We, uh... We haven't had anything like that happen up here. It's normally, I mean, if anything, there's just things come out of the forest and they're dealt with quite handily by the town guard, but... This is uh, that we had to deal with last time we were here, there were skeletons all over the place. It was a mess, but not nearly as big of a mess as what this sounds like. Yes, it's been, uh, well, let's just say that it's, uh, it's been terrible, but for us it's actually been a bit of a boon. A bad situation. Yes. Hmm. Very strange, though. It seems so out of the blue. Yes, you know, it, uh, it is a bit strange. You know, some people were saying that uh, um, Azarian, you know, the, the head of the merchant guild, real stick up his arse kind of fella, his son got married recently, and some people are saying that uh, the wedding is cursed, and that's why the town has been having such trouble lately. The wedding that we, uh... Yeah. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> That's you are the not one. I'm going to believe this, but that wedding was the reason that we were here in town and dealing with the skeletons, because we had to go save the bride mm-hmm. from the skeletons, just, on, and uh, a big, well, it wasn't a harpy bone thing, it was, a, it was like a big undead eagle or something, and it just picked her up and carried her right off into the mountains. Oh, Seems goodness. like so long ago now. It does. Seems like it's been almost six months since that happened. Literally six months. <laughs> it's only been a month and a half. Woo! <laughs> um, Time flies when you're going to hell, I guess. <laughs> um, you know, I had heard a bit about that. I didn't realize that uh, you were the heroes that saved the day, but... I did hear that the wedding, uh, well, they were trying to keep it a bit hush-hush, but 
I've got an in with his area now, and he told me a bit about it. He thought the two things might be a bit connected, but we can't find anything. That doesn't sound I great. I can't really think of anything that would, I mean, other than the big bird, but it, it was, it came from like the, the mountain, like from the wild, you know, just came and picked her up. Yes, well, and tried to attack all the rest of us too. I mean, my goodness, it was pandemonium. We had it was so awful. We had to lock all the people inside their house and barricade the door. I mean, yes. but there wasn't anything with. I mean, <laughs> other than us, of course, there wasn't really anything with like horns or anything like that. No. Well, I mean. We have no reason to uh, suspect that anything that happened at the wedding was in any way related to what happened at the university. We still are really no closer to knowing exactly what the motives were of these things. I mean, they came and they took what they wanted and they just fucked right off. Nobody knows exactly what they were or who, you know, what they wanted. Nobody's been able to figure it out. Same. I'm glad they didn't hurt anybody, at least. No, we were actually quite lucky. No one was injured. It's, it seems that, a little you know, strange. All that, be, all, that, all that stuff can be replaced. It's So it, it's good that nobody got hurt, but it is very strange. Yeah. Yes, well, I mean, it appears that whatever they wanted, it was something from the university. Uh... Although, to be fair, you know, setting something on fire is not exactly the best way to get stuff out of a building. They reduced the thing to Thanks. absolute ash and uh, ended up lighting several other houses and the soot was thick in the air. It was disgusting. And uh, it still hasn't quite recovered that downtown area. The building fell and it blocked off parts of the river and it was causing quite a problem for the Merchants Guild, you know. Goodness. So, so good at all. You've benefited from this, you said. Well, yes, it's been a bit of a boon for us, you know. Azarian, he couldn't fix it on his own. It's, the damage has been tremendous, and they haven't had to deal with something like this in quite some time, it's in my memory ever. Uh, so we've been called in to help rebuild. And. Did you have anything to do with it happening in the first place? Oh, no. This type of thing is probably bad for business, or we couldn't have known it would be good for business. Insight. All right. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Insight. Okay. Seems like nonsense to me. Utter nonsense. Oh, gosh. I rolled a seven on my insight. How? You're supposed to be the wise one. Well, I rolled a seven. My dice <laughs> rolled aren't wise. Eleven. I'm gonna use my. I'm gonna use my. Um, yes, please do. I want to know two things, depending on how this roll goes. Okay. Uh, thirteen. Okay, so dirty twenty. I want to know two things. One, I want to know if she's being honest about that. Okay. And two, earlier it kind of sounded like her and Melania were like a thing. Mm -hmm. So I, I won't. There's any I've been, like, any yeah, insinuation in there. All right, so, uh, this, so this is another one of those things. I'm going to say it because it's not going to spoil anything because you rolled a 20. You know what the fuck is up. Um, <laughs> so this person is also a very high-level rogue. And you rolled really well on that insight check, just like you did at the other place with your deception check. And, like, <laughs> make me crazy. This is d, &D Make me crazy. <sighs> Feels good though that like thing, okay. That's like my one insight and persuasion. Like, please just let me understand people and be friends with them. That's all I do. <laughs> Which is fair. It's a very cordial thing. Um, so for the first thing, it does seem like she's being truthful. Um, it seems like uh, they didn't have anything to do with the attack, but it does seem like she's pretty happy that things went the way that they did because now it's working in her favor. Uh, two. It didn't sound like they were a thing. 
Um, it sounded like they were probably really good friends that drifted apart, but maybe she had feelings for her a little bit. And might that mm. be one? So not a thing, but like maybe could have been a thing. But there were time. there were some feelings. feelings. There were some feelings. 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 Alright. Right, right. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um let's see. Alright, yeah. So yeah, it's, it, but it does definitely seem like she's telling you the truth as far as she believes it. Okay. Yeah. Take up any more of your time, and thank you for the drinks. This was absolutely lovely. I think... Well, honestly, I think next we're just gonna have to... I mean, what do you think? And I'm just gonna turn to Zashri and be like, maybe poke around the academy? I don't see why not. Yeah. I don't think there's any further danger. All your help, and I will give Melania a squeeze for you when I'm back that way. How's that sound? Well, that's, uh, (laughs) well, she, like, she gets a little pink. That's, uh, (laughs) quite, quite nice. I know the feeling. Uh, would you want to speak to, uh, the professor? That would be lovely. Is the professor available? Oh, well, these days she doesn't have very much to do, so... Uh, Gail, she's down the street. Would you like to have her come? She loves coming here, you know, free drink. You just with that, or, I mean, if you want to just point us in the direction, it's up to you, really. Sure, well, how about, uh... Let's see, Gail, how about you go down and see if she wants to come here or if she wants the girls to go visit her at home, okay? And he sort of gives, like, a nod and walks off. Let's see, two, okay. And he's going to come back a couple of minutes later with a young-ish woman in tow. Um, pull her on now. So this is what you see. So she's, like, young-ish. She probably looks like she's in her mid-30s, but she also looks like she's very tired. (laughs) Um, Been there, boo. Been there. (laughs) And she kind of, when she comes in, she's kind of, she almost scurries when she moves a little bit. Like, she's a little, like, she's had a little too much coffee, probably. Um, We've also been there. (laughs) And she kind of runs in and, like, comes over here and sits down and looks at Gail expectantly. And he, like, goes over and gets her a drink. And she, like, takes the cup out of his hand and, like, takes a big sip. And um, so one thing that I did tell the other girls is that they, so some background on the academy here, the university, is that it is, it's a respected institution. Like, people go there and study. But a lot of what it is is it's, like, the Merchants Guild sends their kids there to study and a lot of it is funded by the merchants guild and a lot of the people that go there are like rich kids being tutored by these professors and then you know that in turn allows the professors to like research cool stuff and basically and then they research cool stuff the parents can be like oh yes my child's going to the school where they research cool, cool stuff, stuff. <laughs> basically <laughs> learning lots of cool things yeah that's i mean that's pretty much what it is is it's like uh it's it's mostly wealthy people but a lot of people who teach there enjoy it because they for the most part get left alone a lot of the time to just like do the things they want to do um so just wanted to give you that background. Uh, and actually, for we'll go ahead and take a quick break here. Um, the session is probably not going to be super, super long because of, you know, this is just like a little side quest. But so we'll take a quick break, let everybody refresh themselves, and then uh, we will be right back.
All right. So. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, cool. Uh, just a reminder to everybody that we are not live right now. Um, we are, we have recorded this, pre-recorded this, uh, because today is Super Bowl Sunday and we are doing stuff, but we still wanted to share in this adventure with all of you. So here we are. Ta-da! From the past. Randomly shout hydration check on our own. Yeah! <laughs> you guys. Hydration check! I don't even have water up here. Oops. I failed the hydration check. <laughs> <laughs> that, one failed. Your hydration check. that one <laughs> all right so yeah the professor comes in and she sits down and she's kind of like sipping her sipping her beer and she looks at you guys hey, yes uh you wanted to um see me my cordial and this is sashri and we so I'm sorry, I've probably told this story like a million times already. Uh, we had a friend of ours who had a family heirloom that we had handed over to the academy. I think they were like doing restoration or something on it. And and this was like right before everything kind of just... So I was trying to find out if anybody knew anything about basically what happened or, I mean what got taken or if there's anything left I'm well I'm sure there's a whole bunch more way interesting stuff at the academy I don't even know I've I've never been myself honestly but uh yeah just kind of wondering like what happened like were you there um well no I, I wasn't there myself um at the, at the time that it happened I was home you know it, it actually happened quite quite late at night. Well, not very late at night, but a, a bit late at night. So mostly nobody was there. Uh, and almost everything went up in flames. I had so many manuscripts. <laughs> she starts crying into her beer. Oh. I was working on so many things. But it's, it's okay. We can rebuild. That's what they keep saying. But they haven't. I'm good for you. So, um, I'm sorry about your things. Well, it's okay. Uh, some of my research was able to be saved, so, but it's just the, the physical things, you know, the, all the papers are, are gone. But I did have some of it at home, so that's a bit of a relief. Uh, but, you know, I, I had several artifacts in my possession that some of them are gone and some of them were found and uh, I just, I don't know. It's going to be so difficult to get everything back together again. I don't even know where to stop. Is there anything we can do to help? It doesn't, it doesn't even have to be just you. Oh, no, I mean... Well, th thank you for for offering, but I don't know that. Uh, well, it, and it's it's not just me, you know. There are there are several professors, and they, they'll they'll we're all working together more or less to get it all back together. But it's it's difficult, you know. Uh, the the watch has the city watch has, has fairly fairly meticulously combed the rubble, and they've been able to gather some things that were left behind or that is salvageable and but it's hard you want to us to take a look at the at the well I, I mean you can if you'd like but i don't know that there's much there they've been going through it for near a month and we, we think we've gotten most everything all of the papers were burned of course which is terrible just terrible very yes well, I just hope that soon they can get back to building the actual university back, because until that happens, well, it's just going to be so difficult to get everything together in one place. I mean, the guild barely has space for all of this stuff, and we just, we need our, our offices and our research laboratories in order to be able to do this work. It's important work, you know. Uh, but I'm, I'm blathering. Um, 
You, you said you were looking for something. What, what, what was it? Gliss? It was just a simple necklace, and it belonged to a friend of ours, and her... It was her grandmother... Her great-grandmother's? Oh, uh, Anyway, it had been in the family for generations. Mm-hmm. And, uh... Do you know when exactly uh, it was given to the the academy? Ah, uh, cordial would know. Jenna's like six months ago when we pawned it off there. <laughs> <laughs> it's been six months, uh, so probably probably like a month and a half. Yeah. So um, yeah, I think I think it might have been about six weeks ago. Oh, oh, yes. Well. Uh... recall a fairly a fairly small necklace that that was given to us by um by uh, the, the the temple i believe the 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 uh mm. miss um oh goodness what was her name oh well i can't remember right now uh Puyat, yes miss Puyat. she uh she came by and <laughs> it was a fantastic magic that uh her, her, her little uh, apprentice did. They just pulled it right out of a pocket dimension. Oh, it was lovely. I asked her how how she did that trick, and she said that she would teach me someday, which is wonderful. I I I don't often get to learn new things, you know. I I'm quite the scholar, but it, it was just fantastic. I remember. I remember. Jenna, I think your audio... Her mom had gotten very sick, and that's why they were at the temple. Jenny, Jenna, you've been, like, talking, and, and we can't hear the first half of what you're saying. Yeah, your audio keeps cutting out. Uh, do you want to try to turn up the sensitivity a little bit? Yeah, at first it wasn't being, it, it wasn't being like, too weird, but now it's, like, cutting out. It's, like, cutting out the first half of your sentence. The first half of everything you're saying. Yeah. That is weird. That was better. It it's possible it's just because Cordial's voice is very like oh. <laughs> I it's breathy. I'm breathy, yeah. yeah. The mics are like oh, you have to be breathy but like leaning closer to the microphone. <laughs> oh like when Cordial was trying to be disguised. And then I'll talk like this. <laughs> it's and very and weird. It's, <laughs> it's definitely not me. <laughs> Uh, you'll never know <laughs> I don't even remember what I was just saying uh, something about, something about your mom being sick yeah the, our friend's mom was sick and that's why they were at the temple that's the one that's the necklace something like that uh, yes yes well uh, we we were holding it for study um, but I believe that it was among the things that were, were not found uh it, it's it's quite an interesting artifact, though. Uh, you don't know how they came by it. Oh, it's family for generations, and they didn't know how they how it got in the family either because they're all farmers. But it was very it's very dear to them. I mean, it's the only uh, family heirloom that they have. Well, it, it with was... their very modest income. You understand they don't they don't have a lot of nice things. Well, uh, if that's the case, then uh, they may be able to speak with with Master Zarian regarding uh, perhaps some kind of compensation. I, I know that uh, most of the things that are kept there at the academy are they belong, you know, not to anyone. They belong to us, and uh, but if it was her families, it, it might be possible that they, that they could get some kind of compensation for it. I, I, I don't really know. Uh, it's, uh, it's all very... Well, the, you know, the artifact itself was quite fascinating. It's, uh, it, uh, it appeared to be some kind of dragon stone, which is where it was getting its, its magical energies from. You know, uh, much of the magic in in this world is powered by 
dragons and the the magic that, that they imbue that we can then harness uh, through their 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 bits. That's why you see so many casters. They carry these these arcane focuses, and the you know usually a, a dragon's eye or a dragon's heartstring. And it's, uh, I myself have a bit of dragon hide that I use. It's uh, wrapped around this wand, and she pulls out this like really pretty marked wand that's like covered in a thin strip of hide. And uh, the, whatever it. It was certainly powerful, <laughs> incredibly powerful. Uh, something that I, I've never seen before, actually. It, it was fascinating, and I, I wish we could find it. I, I would have loved to study it further. I'm not promising it, which is a shame because I would love to. I mean, obviously, if it. If you'd like time to study it, of course, but uh, getting it, if we could get it back to the family, that would really be my preference, but I just don't see why we could find it. Well, which is a shame. Yes, it, so much was lost. It, it's so strange. It, it was quite willy nilly, uh, the things that they took. I mean, o o almost everything that they, that they took with them had s some kind of, of magical essence to it but you know they left several things behind as well uh, you know is there any common thread to what they took uh, was it things of a certain nature hmm, you know I haven't been kind of creature it was they might have you know some some creatures can uh, sense have a have a sort of sight for magic, you know. So they might have just took whatever looked magically shiny, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yes. Well, they did take quite a bit of of magical, uh, uh, quite a few magical artifacts, but not everything magical was taken. Um, it, it mostly smaller things, to be sure. Uh, they didn't take a lot of the the larger items. It it it's mostly like a few orbs and some potions and uh, you know the the stone from the necklace and uh, a few other odds and bobkins. The all all very very portable things. That was what we thought anyway. Was that it was just the things that they could easily stick in there. Well, they didn't have pockets, but carry with them. Mm hmm. And there wasn't any common thread amongst them? And not that we could discern. Uh, you know, I've just realized. Uh, uh, Gina, you've, you've, you've told them that, uh, that uh, you know, we're, we're, we're not really supposed to say. And Gina kind of, like, gives her a, a knowing look and, and nods her head, like, yes, I've, I've told them that they're... Uh, they're not to mention that uh, there was any kind of uh, untoward behavior happening. It was just an explosion. Just an explosion. And uh, the woman looks really relieved. Yes, yes, well, they didn't want us to say. It's uh, all very hush-hush, you know. I think they're, they, they're nervous about the general populace being alarmed. But who's to say? It's already so many people are swirling rumors about what has happened. But anyone who says anything about flying beasts, they're uh, branded as insane. So we're all just keeping it to ourselves. Mm. For you, knowing that you can't tell people what happened... Yes, well, we talk amongst ourselves, but uh, I just wish that we could get back to uh, to what we were doing. To put this mess behind us. It's been terrible. Just terrible. <laughs> Dear, well, I'll tell you what, there's not much we can help out with on this end. 
But we are planning on doing an awful lot of traveling, and we'll look out for all of those things you said. So if we find them, someone's trying to sell them somewhere, we'll let you guys know. Oh, that would be lovely. You, you're adventurers, are you? We are. We, when we have to be. Oh, that sounds... We have been for a while now. <laughs> well, we've had to be for a while now. Mm-hmm. I have a feeling we'll have to be for a while longer. That sounds absolutely wonderful. Well, yes, you must come back someday and let me speak with you about all the things that you've seen. You know, I, I don't get out much myself, but it, there's so much out there. It's just fascinating. <laughs> I would love to hear your stories. And, well, when I have a place to take them down and perhaps make a book, you know, all of this stuff should be remembered for posterity. This. And Cordial's going to pull out the book about the undead that they have from Deepwater, and she's going to... I, I know it's not much, and it probably wasn't your original, um, what, what you study, but this book is from here, so at least it's one more book to put back in a new library. Oh. Oh, thank you so much. That's so, that's so wonderful. Oh, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. I'm sure it will be very happy to be back in its home. Thank, thank you so much. Now, if you would excuse us, I think that we probably need to go poke around the site a little bit, but really we should be getting back to our friends. But it was just lovely meeting all of you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, thank, thank you. Uh, I'm Miss Melda, by the way. I, I don't know that I introduced myself. <laughs> Meet you. Yes, it was lovely to meet you. And she kind of like takes a big swig of her beer and looks at it. And well, if uh, you know, if you ever are interested in uh, playing a hand or two, you know where to find us. In the middle of the game at the moment. But I will definitely keep that in mind. You never know when you need a little bit extra um, resources for such things. So, thanks so much. Well, you're very welcome. And uh, if you ever need us, you'll just uh, head to the Lady of the Lake and Gail will be there. Uh, all right, where are you guys headed? Um um, the site. Uh, yeah, let's just go We're straight going. to the place. All right, cool. Sashri nods seriously at everyone before she leaves. Stoic as per usual. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. right. um, while we are walking that way, I would like to quick just check and make sure that we're not being followed, that nobody's particularly interested at, in us, you know, the normal Go ahead and roll perception. The normal. Oh, well, that's absolute crap. Um, 15. 15? That's not absolute crap. Yeah, well, I rolled an 8. Uh, well, oh, okay. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, yeah, so you look around, and um, it doesn't really look like anybody's taken a particular interest in you guys. Uh, nobody appears to be following you. Oh, as we get a little farther down the road, I'm just going to kind of turn to Zashri and be like, Huh, sounds like she didn't get a chance to actually examine what that necklace did, so that's good. I wasn't sure what we were going to do if she started talking about it. I know. I'm glad it's gone. I mean, I'm not glad it's gone. You're not? Those things... Well, I'm... No, I mean, those things... Big winged... Bony things ridden by people with horns? I mean, didn't that sound a little familiar? It did sound a little familiar. So those are not the people that we want to have that sort of thing, I don't think. I know. So <sighs> I'm not sure anyone should have that sort of thing, though. Definitely agree. Yeah. But especially but definitely not, not them. them. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Agreed. But, like, especially not them. Especially not them. <laughs> Tree, you get me. Of course I do. All right. 
Um, but I don't know what we're doing now. Are we just rummaging around in some rubble or something? Like, what are we... I mean, I don't see why not. If worse comes... I mean, we... Worst case, we don't find anything new. Best case, we might see some kind of clue. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go. I guess technically worst case is that we get buried in the rubble. But I'm pretty strong. I'm sure we'll be fine. It's fine. (laughs) Maybe get buried for very long. (laughs) Here I go, giving the DM ideas that they don't need to have. (laughs) This is what I do. Um, so as you guys are walking you do notice that like the closer that you're getting to uh where the university is it does start to get like you can there's like soot on the buildings and it looks like there's some you know you can tell that some things have been caught on fire and since been put out and it's just like the closer you get it's like getting dirtier and dirtier and dirtier even though it's been about, like like she said, about six months since this has happened, it doesn't really look like there's been a lot of cleanup since hmm. then. Um, all right, so okay. as you guys are walking, you reach the end of the street and it opens into this large circular area at the middle of which there is the ruins of what looks like had probably at one point been a very large tower. That has since collapsed. Uh, The way that it has collapsed took out a bunch of houses next to it all the way down to where the river was. You can see that there's just like stone strewn about. There's burned charred wood all over the place. Um, Most of it has been sort of most of it in this sort of cul-de-sac type area has been contained but it's still just a mess. Okay. When we get there, I would like to So I'm I want to try something. I've never done it before, and I don't know if it'll work, but let's just try it. Why not? Is there anything I can do to help? Um, let's see. Um, I don't think so um so vanessa i would like to try to scry on the necklace yes if those rules if that's how that works in your okay yes you everybody's has got different homebrew rules for scrying so so the way that i understand it And the way that I think of it is that you can scry on a person, place, or thing. It's just that when you scry on, like, a person or thing, you're really only getting information about, like, it immediately. So it's not going to give you, like, you're not going to be able to see, like, where it is. But you could see, like, the immediate area just around it, you know? Or if someone was, mm-hmm. like, wearing it, you could see that. Or, like, holding it. Or holding okay. it. Yeah, 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 you could see that. But it's it's not going to, like, tell you, like, its exact location or anything like that. Okay. So, usually, with a person, there would be, like, a save for the scry. Mm-hmm. This is not a person, so I don't know how that works. But uh, we know this necklace very well. Mm-hmm. Like, we studied it and like held it Touched and, it and yeah. Yeah. Took, it, took it straight away from Maggie. Mm-hmm. Um, so it is something that we're familiar with at least. Yes. But I am, uh, I'm going to sit in the rubble and I'm going to pull out my uh, holy symbol, which is a, <laughs> a, a gold locket. And on the inside of the locket is a little picture of my family. And on the other, like, on the back of the locket is a little, it's, um, it's gold, but it's, like, mirror shine finish. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to open my little, uh, family locket holy symbol and use that little mirror as the, the scry mirror. 
It's not like holding it like this. Okay. Aww, that's cute. That's super cute. Did I tell you before that that was my holy symbol? Um, I know that I knew that you had it. I guess I didn't know that it was your holy symbol, but I like it. Mm -hmm. Cordial is not a uh, the kind of cleric that has a deity. She's to a virtue, mm -hmm. friendship. So she doesn't have. There's not like a symbol of some deity personified whatever. You know, like that. That's not. I like thing. that a lot. So. Yeah, yeah. So the way that was the thing that we had. Uh that Jenna and I had talked about when we started the campaign was that, you know, there are, there's no, there's no like gods or goddesses in this world. The, the, the energy that clerics use. Is, I love that. Yeah. Derived from the celestial plane basically. And there's mm -hmm. like different kinds that you can harness uh, in order to do it. your cleric magic. So. Yeah. So the temples are more like, rather than there being like a God of justice, the temples like just justice. Yeah. The Temple of Justice, yeah. Yeah. I dig that. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, so I'm a friendship cleric. Yeah. I, I have the power of love. Yes. So and now I'm going to use it to friendship. scry on a necklace, uh, which is my own level spell, and I'm going to cast it. All right. So... As you're sitting there and you kind of like close your eyes, what does it look like when you when you do this? You think? I think what this actually looks like is she pulls out her necklace and she's kind of like mumbling like almost to the picture of her family and telling them what the necklace looks like, like describing it to them. Mm -hmm. And that is what like has it sort of appear on the mirror finished side of the locket okay. is she's like, it's almost like a conversation. Uh huh. All right, cool. Uh, let me just check one. I don't think she's like glowing or anything. Okay. I just want to look at something really quickly before I do this. Uh, perfect. Okay, cool. So, so probably Zashri's like, okay. A little weird, but not like super weird for cordial. Not the weirdest <laughs> yeah. thing I've ever seen. It's a little strange, but you know, kind of used to it at this for point. You, cordial's like, I'm, I want to try something, and then she just pulls out her necklace and starts talking to the picture. <laughs> it's like, all right, you okay? I'll guard. I'll guard. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as you're looking at your necklace, you do see this sort of like. It's sort of like, like, a. it's like something coming into focus, basically, on the mirror surface. And it takes a second, but it very clearly, you can see the necklace. And it appears to be sitting in some kind of cage, almost, or like a, like a, like a mesh box, kind of. And it's pretty dark, but you can very clearly see it. And you can very clearly see the, like, pattern of whatever, like, is on the box that is holding it. Um, and something The pattern else, look like anything in particular? Not like, really. Like, does the pattern say, like, property of this particular demon or... <laughs> <laughs> property of Zillah. No, it does not. Um... But it just, you know, you can tell that it's some kind of, like, lock box. But one thing that you do also see is every so often, as you're looking at this, you see this little, like, bright light. Uh, I am going to have you roll history for me really quickly. Yeah, I'm good at those. I know. <laughs> this I know. time will work, I'm sure. It's going to be great. It was a two. Oh. A two. <laughs> and I have a negative one modifier. Oh no! So. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Can I also roll, or is it just her because she's doing the spell? It's just her. Yeah, I don't. I yeah. don't think you fine. can see. I know. It. I know. Fine. fine. <laughs> it was worth an <laughs> ask. Uh, fine. No. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you're not quite sure what it is, but you do see every so often as you're looking at this reflection, these little like. flares 
Okay. Does the necklace look like it's still whole in one piece, or like has the the stone of it been removed? For, like, uh, the necklace does look like it's in one piece. Yes, and actually, as you're looking at it, and it kind of like it, it almost like the vision sort of raises up a little bit, and sitting next to it looks like another stone that looks a lot like the one in the necklace. I'm writing this down so that I don't forget so that I can tell our party when we come back, but that's like two weeks from now and I 100% will forget between now and then. Fair enough. Yeah, I know. I'm a I'm a like compulsive note taker in D and D because I people are like, oh, that's so wonderful that you take such good notes, and I'm like, you don't understand. If I don't write this down, I will literally never remember anything ever. You won't, and neither will anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the other stone that's with it, um, does it look to be about the same size as that one? Because I I do remember you saying the one that's in the necklace is a different size than the one that we have. This one looks the the so the one that is next to it looks to be about twice the size. Okay. Which still isn't like huge because the necklace one was about like that's it wasn't too big. It was about the size of the palm of your hand, maybe probably yeah. A little and smaller. I think the one that we had was much bigger than the necklace. Yes, it was also quite a bit bigger. Which was why when. Cordial was like, I want to see what kind of magic this is. Oh, it's a big old death stone. No, we're not giving this away. <laughs> no. Okay. Was there anything else you wanted to tell me about this vision? Nope. After, a, like, I, how long does it last? After, after, mer, 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 like minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Some minutes. <laughs> I, do, I do, like, sit and watch it for a while just to see, like, if anybody opens the thing and touches it, like... Or anything like that. Like, I do, like, sit and watch it, and then once yeah. I'm done, you know, once that kind of ends, I'm gonna, like, close the locket and look up at Zashri and be like, okay, so that worked. Not quite the way I thought it was going to, but that's what happens when you do something for the first time, I guess. But I saw it. I you saw did? it. I and did. It was, and where I, was it? It's in a box. Somebody has it in a box, and I was seeing the inside of the box... So I'm not entirely sure where it is, but I do know that it's all together still in one piece. And there was another stone with it that was like twice the size of that one. So there's more than one of them together. So whoever took this is looking for these specifically. I'm pretty sure. That sounds like really bad news. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Oh, um, the box that it was in, like the kind of decoration on it, did it... Um, cordial the interior designer <laughs> did it have a particular like look to it you know like in lord of the rings you can look at something and be like that's very elvish or like that's super dwarvish or whatever do you know what i'm talking about um yes like any kind of indication of where it's from yeah i am going to have you roll history for me again to see of course you are <laughs> wait 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 can you, you like describe it you should describe it to zashri and she can help with her also negative one yeah, okay, so... Uh, you can do that. The you scholars, can. the two of us, are going to... She's going to take her brain cell, and I'm going to take my brain cell. And One single brain together. cell. <laughs> well, if you are helping, Zashri, do you want to roll with advantage then? Because I'll, I'll describe it to you, and then... Sure. Yeah. Bye, bye, our single brain cell. It's going to be great. <laughs> Woo! Come on. I'm sure it'll go great. Um, history. Yeah, three, history. right? Mm -hmm. Uh, twelve. That's not terrible. Yeah, so I've sort of, I've sort <laughs> of. Uh, hold on, hold on. I have advantage. I haven't used yet. Can yes. I, can I roll one more time? Yes. Okay. Twelve. <laughs> twelve. Still twelve. <laughs> yep. Okay. Great. <laughs> yeah. Wasted advantage. <laughs> so, Wonderful. I know, right? I hate when that. I fucking hate when that happens. Same. Um, cool. Glad I did that. Thanks, yeah. Roll20. Yeah, I've sort of started using history as a little bit of like a, because I hate it's when it's like an intelligence Like a memory check. check. Yeah, so it's like history is sort of like your history is sort of like a 
like a culture check almost. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like how much do you remember about yeah. like the culture mm-hmm. of wherever? Yeah, and like just like a re- sort of like yeah, like a recall or what would you like? What do you know about this? Um, so, uh, but with I mean, a twelve is not terrible. <laughs> just not the worst thing ever. Um, it's not terrible. It's not great. Also, mediocre at best. Um, Zashri also has not traveled very much, so you it's definitely true. from what Cordial has described to you. You definitely do know that it is not something that you are familiar with. So it's probably not from this area or down in the Wesrelin area. And I will also give you with that, though, because, you know, Cordial, you would have also seen it. And, and like when you're thinking about it, it isn't super familiar to you either. So you can kind of mm. rule out the um, the Ellisian area. A bunch of different places. Yeah. So at the very least, okay. with that, so with probably that, not like the Elysian area. Yeah, you like. Yeah, you know where it's not from. <laughs> okay. Basically. Okay. So while we're still here talking about it, and I think as part of telling Zashri, like it looked like this, is I'm just gonna take out my, um, the like kind of scratch field book that I use for writing down other people's recipes that we come across, mm-hmm. and I'm just gonna kind of like try and like it was kind of like this. Um, in in that notebook, basically, so that we can show everybody else later. All right. Um, yes. But, and I can't do it right now because it's actually kind of a lot of magic to do it. But now that I know what the box looks like, I think later when I go to check it out, I can look at the box, dead of the necklace, and then I might be able to see the outside of it. And I'm not sure about that. Because hmm. I'm still learning how to do this, but I think we could try it. But it's not today because that was actually really hard. <laughs> Jerry's like, but it, we got somewhere. <laughs> you know more okay. than you did before. That's for sure. So, oh um, show. Sure. All right, that's what this magic is for. <laughs> okay, so, okay, um, okay. Well, but I, we should still, like, look around, though, right? Yeah. Why not? We're here. I mean, we're here. Let's do it. Being investigators. Yeah. Let's investigate. It, that it, was a nat 20. <laughs> but if it's an investigation check, that's a negative one for a 19. <laughs> oh, my God, you guys. Are- <laughs> I rolled a three. <laughs> We're the worst people to be here. What's going on? Right now. <laughs> we oh both are God. not the most intelligent. Here we are. It's oh great. It's it fine, so I'm sure. Much. I'm sure it's fine. It's fantastic. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so, I accidentally just shot one of my dice across the desk because Jenna also has an intelligence of nine. <laughs> Katie also has an intelligence of eight. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, you guys are killing anyway, me with um, this. But that, that was a 19 investigation. So. Good job, good job. So, yeah, I mean, you still. So, you're as you kind of comb through everything, uh, it, it does look like they've given it a pretty thorough uh, check. Um, from what the professor had said and from what Gina had said, you sort of, you know that the the city watch has been qu- kind of going through this rubble little by little for the past sort of month and a half to see if they can get, you know, as to get as much as they can to sort of salvage whatever they can. Um, so as you're going through, you just, you don't really find a whole lot. There's not a whole lot that's left. Um, there's pieces of burnt papers, there's like lots and lots of rubble, but that's that's really all you find. There's just not much there. But you can say that with absolute certainty, <laughs> which is nice. <laughs> Fair. Well, that that's what we expected. Mm-hmm. Um, she mentioned that there was something about it blocking the river. Is the river, like, near this building? Um, it's not, like, right next to it, but because it was so tall, what it looks like happened is that 
it kind of fell over and took out a bunch of like houses with it and then fell partway into like the top of it fell partway into the river which is a couple of blocks away should we try to move it out we can go peek between the two of us you're really strong you're not really strong but that's okay <laughs> um yeah let's go look why not we can um, try we, yeah um, are there, do you think there's like secret tunnels under the academy? I don't know. We could look. Do you want to check? Because like, there were like secret tunnels under some of the temples that we went to. There were. That were actually kind of the sewers now that I think about it. I bet you if there were any, that the entrances would be by the river. Well, let's go look. Yeah. So we're going to have a jaunty stroll over to the river. All right. So you guys walk over <laughs> to uh, the river walk sort of next to... There's a lot of, like, stalls that are sort of starting to close down for the night. It's getting to be a little later in the evening. Um, so there's some merchant stalls that are starting to close down all, all along the river walk. And you do see where the tower had collapsed and part of the sort of roof area it looks like is um sitting like halfway in the river blocking part of it quite a uh do we see any like drainage pipes or any other places that could be entryways to a secret passageway? Dun, dun, dun. Uh, roll. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, I'm going to say perception for this since you're just sort of looking around. <laughs> That's way better yeah, than investigation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Mercy. Um, have mercy. <laughs> all right. That's a 16 on the dice with a plus seven is um 23 Ooh, i rolled in that 20 wow. 24 Good job, all right so you Zashri, did even better y'all see everything see we're better at, at perception than investigation it's almost Ooh. as if i am a cleric i don't have any good excuse for why for me caster. <laughs> um all right so as you guys are what <laughs> You guys are sort of looking around, uh, what? seeing, they're just surveying the area, um, seeing if there's any like sewer outlets and just generally getting a lay of the land. Um, you do see what looks like uh, right above, so where you are, it's like a little river walk, kind of. Uh, there is another sort of, it looks like access um, uh yeah, walkway. That's the word I'm looking for. It's like patio. That's not mm -hmm. the word I'm looking for. I don't know why I decided that was it. Panel? <laughs> um. Um, so there's, it looks like there's another little access walkway that's below where you are. And along that access walkway, you do see about every 10 feet, it looks like there is some kind of sewer pipe. Uh, each of them has uh, grates on it and it looks like they are all sort of draining into this main river area does it look like any of the grates have been open recently um f so from where you are it doesn't look like it really no okay i think that might be where we need to go investigate oh yes let's go investigate <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, how are you guys getting down to the access walkway? Is there no, like, ladder or stairs or anything? Uh, you roll investigation for me. God damn it! I love you. She gave us one. <laughs> I know, I mean, she gave us one, one. But the one that she gave us was the thing that told us about something, so, like, this is fine. <laughs> oh, man, the next thing is ending. Well, that was an 18, so 17 for me. So and I rolled a 2 minus 1, so that's a 1. 
This is my history on the flashy light things. Oh my god. Oh my okay, god. Okay. Uh, so Terrible. Zashri, you're just like, well, maybe we could just jump. That's fine. I'll just jump this. And you're like looking down, trying to no! figure out how far down it's going to be. <laughs> It'll be great. And Cordial's like, there's a ladder right there. We don't have to jump. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I kind of just like to jump, though. It's fine. Let's take the ladder, I guess. Uh, <laughs> all right. So you guys climb down the ladder and get to the little access walkway. Um, <clears throat> walk along to the first grate that you come to. Um, what do you want to do? Look into it. Yes. Inspectors Zashri and Cordial. Private eyes. All right. Investigate for <laughs> Oh, God. There's going to be a lot of this. <laughs> be prepared. That's a nat 20. Yes. Oh, and even Zashri did. These me. are on my uh, my new Cordial Ooh. dice. That I, got for them. I like those. I dice. rolled a 10. So pretty. Oh, shiny. Okay. Um, so now my, my cordial dice are these ones that are pink and purple. They are then, pretty. Or pink and blue. And then, yeah, so I got two sets of cordial dice. So you advantage, disadvantage. And, you know, so that I have nice. my cleric damage. <laughs> that I Excellent. to my muffin. Dig it. The muffin was hungry for dice. Anyway, yes. Yes. Tell so me everything, DM, because I see it all. All of it. So uh, you're looking around the outside of the grate here, and it doesn't necess- it doesn't look like it's moved for a long time. Um, it does look like, however, somebody who was small could probably fit between these grates. Um, so you know, if somebody really wanted to get in there, they definitely could. Uh, but like you pull on it a little bit, it really doesn't budge. Um, as you look in, you both have dark vision. Uh, as you look in, it looks like some kind of sewer access, but it doesn't smell like a like sewage at all. It seems like this is probably drainage from somewhere. Uh, maybe like further into the city. Mm. Um, but it's kind of hard to tell. It's very mossy. It smells a little like damp. Um, not actually being there and being able to see it, but Cordial's there and able to see it. The access points, or I guess, is there any that looks like it would make more sense for that to be going towards the, uh, academy is the word that I'm looking yes. for. <laughs> um, so I'll And say- then I guess, like, if it's mossy and stuff, like, there would be kind of a, a worn... Like, if, if people were coming in and out frequently, there'd be kind of a worn path. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so for the first um, one, you don't see so that. So, I'm kind of, like, looking out for that. Yeah, so I'm... Because I'm, I'm very gonna, smart. I'm, I'm very smart. Um, I'm not going to make you guys roll for every single one of these things. Uh, so, the first one you come to, you don't see... <laughs> you don't really see any... I'm not going to make us repeatedly <laughs> fail investigation. <laughs> Um, the first one you come to, you don't really see any indication uh, that any humans or humanoids have been in here. Uh, it looks like maybe some rats, maybe some bats. Uh, nothing nothing bigger than that. Uh, the next one you come to, it looks like this one probably would lead t- to underneath where the... Uh, uh, sorry, where the academy is, just based on the fact that from where you are, if you look straight back the way that the tower fell, that's where the academy looks like it is. And this this tunnel, it looks like it just keeps going straight back. Although it is a little bit difficult to tell if it turns off or not because it's it's basically just as far as you can see, which is probably about 90 feet with your dark vision at this point. Um, but that's that's what you're surmising. Um, it also doesn't really look like there have been, there's been regular humanoid traffic through this one. Although you do see a couple of footprints by the entrance to it. Hmm. 
Hmm. He's ugly. Yeah. Do you still have that axe? Uh, this one? She pulls out the great axe. Thinking, we are not very small enough to get in through uh, without breaking this thing. But I can cast Mending. So if you mangle this up so we can get through it, I can mend it back behind us and then no one will know that we're in here. Okay, we can try that. Um, do either of us have something like a crowbar? We could try to pry it open. I uh, cordial definitely carries a crowbar everywhere. Um, I might also have a crowbar. No. Wait. I've got adventuring gear. Yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> what is I have that too. Uh, yeah. Okay, hold on. There's oh like no! A, nope. It has like a no crowbar. backpack and a blanket and stuff. Yeah, I think probably like a thieves kit or some. There's some something like that that has a crowbar. All right. Tools, it, I think it's like it's like dengineering or something. Yeah. That, that might okay. Be. Anyway. All right. So I'm literally <laughs> standing. Gosh, she's gonna hold the axe. Standing here in a big navy blue ball gown with butterflies all over it. Okay. Can you Do back I look up like for I a have second? Engineer's kit. Back up for a Second. Poof, poof, poof. Okay. <laughs> poof, 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 poof. Okay. <laughs> she beats. swings the axe at the grate. Ah! All right. Make an attack roll. All right. Can I rage? If you would like to, you absolutely can. I did do a scream, so I feel like a rage is okay. Did a, I, I'm doing me a scream. <laughs> <laughs> I did a scream. She's like, I'm so tired. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Girl, same. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, God. All right. One use of rage, and then just a, like a straight attack roll? Yes. Okay. To hit? Bliss. But it might, it would then have 27 to, to hit oh the great. That absolutely hits. <laughs> All right. This is way better than an investigation. <laughs> now I can do this. 10. I don't think that, I'm not sure that added rage damage. No, I don't 20, think so. 12. It, plus, doesn't, it no. doesn't look like it did. Mm-hmm. Okay. Rage damage would be plus three. Thirteen All right, damage so on that. You like haul back and take a big swing at this thing. And as it comes down, it does manage to like bend one of the bars pretty good. Uh and as it makes this like noise and this like big clang as your axe comes down on it, you notice people <laughs> are starting to stare. Uh oh. <laughs> There's like people walking around and they're kind of and like you know merchants are packing up their stuff and a couple of people turn around and they're like, "What is going on down there?" <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> What did you say? I said, what are you looking at? <laughs> Mind your business. No. <laughs> um, so can I try to bend it open farther? Like. Sure. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll athletics. All right. At advantage because I'm raging. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying like sacred flame at it to help, but. Uh, 25. Uh, so, yeah, you, you, like, (laughs) super Hulk strength, and manage to pry the bars open wide enough that both of you could fit through. All right, come on, Cordial, let's go. Are you strong? What? 
you are so strong. Oh, thank what you. you did. This is super cool. I know. No, oh, it's kind of what I'm good at. <laughs> well, that and investigating, obviously, look at us. Obviously, look <laughs> at us. Look, we didn't know that we rolled that, okay? That's accurate. <laughs> we just think we found this because we're so smart. Okay. <laughs> so. Not because the DM was like, I don't have five hours. You just find the thing, okay? <laughs> okay. You find the thing. Okay. Sashri so crawls in. All right. Um, and actually, if we are going to take another really quick break, uh, and then um, we probably won't go too much longer, um, but we'll see, obviously. But I just want to give it another five minutes so that everybody can refresh and uh, get themselves together before we conclude everything. So we will be right woo woo. Bye.
All right, so you guys walk into the sewer and it's a little funky, but you know, it doesn't smell like actual poop. It just kind of <laughs> smells like, you know, damn. Hey. Uh, you know, there's like a trickle of water running at the bottom and you do see some fairly, what look like fairly recent footprints going. It looks like they are actually coming out towards the river. I think we're on the right trail. Yeah. Let's keep going. Not even going to stealth or anything. Just like. Just go. Yep. Not even going to try. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, we aren't the stealthy ones. We aren't no. the ones who try and stealth. <laughs> no. No. Nah. Right, cool. I mean, uh, we could try. <laughs> You just I'm in a ball gown. Actually, you know what? <laughs> and beet juice. Fair. <laughs> um. So. No. All right. Well, it's fine. Um. So, as you guys move forward, um, it gets very. It starts to get very dark, and obviously, you guys have dark vision, so you can see at least a little bit what's going on. Um, uh, I would oh. like both of you to go ahead I'm gonna and gonna light my candle. You're gonna put light your candle? You yeah. know, okay. I'm not entirely sure. Oh no, I do have dark vision. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we're making a what now? You were saying that we were making a check or something? Yes, I would like you both to make a dexterity check for me, please. Or sorry, a dexterity saving throw. Um, against that, that makes an effect sense. I can see? No. Can I, can I see it or not? No, you can't see it. No. <laughs> Ten. Ten, okay. Seven. Seven. Okay, so <laughs> as you guys are walking, um, you, so Zashri, all of a sudden you step down and your foot just like flies out from underneath you as you slip on this particularly mossy bit of the suit. Ah! You fall <laughs> flat on your butt. You don't take any Ow! damage, but you are covered <laughs> in like slime. Uh, Ew. Cherry, you managed to, sorry, Cordial, you managed to slip a little bit on this particularly slippery patch, but you like catch yourself. It's fine. I've got this. It's okay. 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 <laughs> um, the good Oh my news... god! Something <laughs> What? I only heard half of those words. Wait, what did you say? The normal. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Um, uh, yeah, I, I think only my pride is wounded. <laughs> Cordial is going to try and help you up. Thank you. I'm not sure. Uh, okay. I'm gonna, like, assume that this is one of those things where, like, it's a little kid helping an adult up where, like, they make it seem like you're really helping them. Yeah, like, really oh, helping. thank you so much. I couldn't have done this without yeah, you. It's really just the adult. I'm, like, like using <laughs> my whole counterweight to... <laughs> <laughs> Which, Cordial is a big girl. Yeah. Okay. So she has... She has a sturdy Prob's, counterweight. Prob's not you know as big as Zashri, though. <laughs> she's definitely not as tall, but she's a ch chunky Fair. baby. She is... Voluptuous. Voluptuous. Yeah. yeah. Um, she would probably be laying size 24 clothing. Like, I dig it. Um, she's I, a curvy girl. She had curves. Yeah, she, she do. And a ball gown. <laughs> <laughs> and a ball gown. <laughs> Which is bound to lend a couple pounds at least <laughs> to the counterweight. <laughs> yeah. You can't fight crime if you ain't cute. Fair. Um, all right. So okay. Guys, so guys start moving forward you do you are still seeing uh the footprints 
it looks like whoever came this way also slipped and fell here. Um, there's a handprint and what looks like a butt print in the ground. Um, but again, it looks like they're going, they were going out. Um, you guys walk for another minute or two and there is a ladder that comes down in the center of the tunnel and what looks like some kind of cover or you can keep going straight ahead. Uh, Vanessa, you are uh, cutting out for me. I'm gonna refresh real fast, so hold on. So hopefully that, hopefully that helped. I just heard ladder. So are we going up? Yeah. So there's a ladder in front of you and you can either go up or you can keep going straight. Hmm. Do you think that we've gone far enough that we're like under the academy yet? I have no idea. Uh, you can roll survival to see if you would know. Sure. I think I think Cordial should do that at advantage with me helping. Okay. Oh, good, because that was a nap one. <laughs> okay, roll well, again. That was an eight. Yay! So, plus, uh, okay. way better. Eight times better. Um, plus three, so 11. 11? Okay, yeah. So, that's, I mean, that's enough. You... You can tell from the uh, from just from how long you've been walking and how long it took you to get here that you are probably right around where the academy would be. Hey, let's let's go up. Let's try. It. I think it's good. I think yeah. All right. Uh, who is going up first? I will. Okay. So, Zashra, you climb up the ladder, and when you get to the top, it's not that far. Uh, the, these tunnels aren't super tall. You're probably only about, they're probably only about 10 feet tall, so you're probably about three and a half feet from the ceiling. So you climb up, and you get to the top of the ladder, and there is a, it's a manhole cover, basically. Um, looks like it's wood, though. It's not metal. Uh, can I lift it? Sure. So you just want to just push it straight up? Yeah, I want to push it up like a few inches and like look around. Okay. Um, are you trying to be sneaky or are you just trying to like be cautious? Sure. Why not? <laughs> okay. All right. Go ahead and roll some stealth. Well, we do this. Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to have you roll sleight of hand for pushing up the manhole cover. Neither of these are good things. It doesn't really matter between the two. 21. Hey, somehow. Good. All right. So I'm going to roll. I rolled a 19. Yeah, 21. I mean, that's great. Okay. Um. So you yeah. very quietly kind of do one of those like Ninja Turtle things where you're like, whoop, and it's like just your eyes scoping it. Uh, as you pop your head up, you can see that you are back in the square, the, sorry, the, like, cul-de-sac area where the, um, academy is. It looks like this is, uh, some kind of drainage from the street. Nope. Not yet. Say that one more time. Keep going. Okay. All right. Okay. We trudge ever forward. All right. So as you guys start walking, uh, I am going to have you roll survival one more time for me. Okay. Both of us or one of us at advantage? Uh, it's up to you. Both of you can roll. Already rolled because uh, I thought you meant both oh. of us. So I... I don't want to roll. Right. It's a nine. <laughs> Mine too. A nine? Or wait. Yep. 
<laughs> Minus six plus three is nine. Yep. Okay, so yeah, you guys keep moving forward. Um, you walk for probably another couple of minutes uh, and you come to another one of the ladders with a manhole cover. Ooh. All right, should we do this again? Sorry, I am just cannot stop myself from yawning. It has been the world's longest day, and I'm very tired. It's okay. <laughs> but yes, let us. All right. Onward. Up the ladder. Up the ladder. Okay. All right, so you walk up the ladder. And beyond. Uh, again, are you trying to be sneaky about pushing up this cover, or are you just going for it? Sure, why not? Okay, slide of hand. Slide of hand again? Yes, please. Nice, you're cutting out a lot. Damn it. I think it's the call. Next time, I'm going to do this thing. Slide of hand again? Yes, please. I can't hear anything. Yes. Okay. Fifteen. Oh, uh, yeah. Fi fifteen. Yeah, so fifteen. Yeah, you, you, same thing. Boop. Um, this time, you don't even see the Academy. It looks like you've probably gone too far. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> We're the best investigators ever. We got this. For sure. We got this. That's right. Oh, Meg, he's not going to believe this when we get I back know. home. She's always the one. He knows where everything is. I know. Okay. All right. One more time, okay? Okay. Okay. Right. One more time. Um, we're gonna go back. Okay. I'll also and cordial. towards the direction we think. <laughs> okay. Um, cordial. At this moment, you hear a voice in your head. It sounds like Amrit, and she's like, uh. Your friends are wondering when you'll be back. I forget exactly what the what the sending was, so I'm not going to try to repeat the whole thing. But that was the gist of it. <laughs> oh, they actually sent a. Yes, they actually sent a message. <laughs> Soon, checking out one last thing, and then we'll be right back to the tavern. So tell them we said hi and that we love them, and stay hydrated. Okay. <laughs> Somebody else always counts for me. <laughs> All right. Um, so you guys going back down, trying to go back? All right. Yeah. Um, I'm Helen Cordial. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll um, survival one more time for me, guys. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, hells. You can do it. <laughs> I can't do it, though. <laughs> Me. Oh, nice. All right. 16. 16. So, hey! I just gave myself a high five. Because that's what you gotta Accurate. do when you're in quarantine. Um, yeah, no kidding. But yeah, dirty 20 and 16. Yeah. So this time as you're now we're on familiar ground. Yeah. Um, so now as you're walking down, you as you guys are kind of backtracking, retracing your steps. Um, you look down and you notice that the, the tracks that you were following, it looks like they end where that first ladder was. So it looks like whoever was going through here, that was where they came down, uh, was from the, from the street. Uh, the only tracks that you guys see going past that point are, uh, your own going and coming back. And as you're walking, looking around, you don't really notice any other entrances or exits from this sewer area. Well, the good news is great detectives. Obviously, yes. But the bad news is I think we're about a month too late. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm but I'm not sure there's anything to one. find here. <laughs> Obviously, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just go up the ladder, I think, then. Yep. Okay. Are you guys going to make your way back to the tavern? That would be where uh, where Amber had said that they were waiting for you. Uh, yeah, if it, if it doesn't... Um, before we go, mm -hmm. since we're back near the, the thing, I just want to do one last pass, and I'm going to cast um, just Detect Evil and Good. Mm -hmm. Like sort of in the ruin sort of area. Okay. Um, so that's basically anything not from the, this plane of existence. So fey, fiend, undead. And, you Aberration. Know, blah, 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 blah. So anything ain't supposed to be here. <laughs> she gonna know. Um, so as you, you cast the spell and... As you're just sort of like giving it a once over, um, you do find you get this like little ping off of something in the rubble, and you go and you uh, you kind of and you look at it, and it looks like just like like a claw, some kind of claw. Too, but um, what kind of thing is it? Is it like fiend aberration? It is. It's a fiend. Ah, this look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you can surmise that it's probably a piece of. Sashri's just <laughs> not <laughs> amused. <laughs> Well, whatever. I mean, at least we have something that we can bring back, and we've got the idea of what the box is to tell our friends, and yeah, that's something. I think we've learned. So we've learned some things that we didn't know before, and well, maybe of course not we as did. much We're as we want. We're expert investigators. Well, obviously, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I'm writing claw thingy in my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine da -da. it's like, like the Velociraptor da -da. claw from Jurassic Park. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that is actually a lot what it looks like. It's almost exactly what it looks like. Anyway, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright, so you guys head back to the tavern. Uh, a little bit damp. Sashri's a little bit muddy. But uh, overall... Uh, a little gross. You know, feeling pretty good about uh, the information you have gathered. And you walk, as you walk in, you do see the girls are all sitting at a table with some tankards and some food in front of them, uh, waiting for you to join them at the table and partake of dinner and talk about all of the things that you have learned today. Woo! Woo! Things that they learned, because I didn't watch their episode. I didn't either. I didn't watch yep. where I wasn't there. So they're going to have to Same. tell me about it. Yes. It's actually, so uh, everybody went to the uh, the Academy Ruins. Um, however, the way that the timelines are going to work is that they were there and they left and then you guys arrived. So. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Because they, okay. were, they, yeah, cool. they were in the inn for... For a while so they've been hanging out uh waiting for a little while so that's what that's the way that we're gonna do this to make it all work out um but yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed okay. that little uh that little foray into the city <laughs> that was fun i'm glad you guys had fun uh not current audience that is currently watching it whenever you're watching it enjoys the zashri sure. and cordial show Yes, very mature. <laughs> uh, very future. smart. Uh, future. Um, yes, um, obviously. Super intelligent. I personally died laughing several times. <laughs> I thought this whole thing was amazing. Was <laughs> um, We're idiots. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah so we... Uh, <laughs> 
future people. We will be back. <laughs> Sasha and Cordial are like, let's go investigate. It's going to be great. <laughs> It'll be great. We can do this. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we will be back uh, next Sunday to uh, reconvene and um, see what else is going to happen in deep water before the girls set off for hell. I still can't believe I get to say that. It's one of my favorite things. <laughs> We're going. You're sending us straight to hell. So I think the only other like announcement that we have then is we're still going to have two sirens in Siren Squad episodes in coming up in February. Also February, uh, Friday the nineteenth, we are going to have a Black History Month yes uh, charity stream to benefit Black Girls Code and Sombra share is going to be DMing it. It's going to be her first time DMing on stream and she has written this adventure herself and she's going to be DMing it. So definitely look out for more information on that because we have some cool things that I'm not going to tell you about to uh, to give away during the charity stream. Ooh. So you know, I will be there. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be awesome. We're super, super excited to be able to do this. And we're super excited for Sharon to have her first game. She's going to be so good. It's going to be amazing. Um, so, yeah. We will and keep... we're bringing on some new friends to play the game. And... <laughs> and we will keep everybody updated on all the socials for when that happens so that y'all can come and hang out and support a really, really awesome cause that we are super excited about. So... Um, but I think that's pretty much it. So thank you to everybody who decided to hang out with us and wanted to see this. And we really enjoy uh, having you guys. And um, until next time, until next Sunday.